All right, so this week, we're on a new week already. We're on week three. Can you believe that? So um, yesterday, we did typewriter. So that was, you know, 14 days. That was typewriter. So we are now on the third week. And the prompt for today is sea glass. Thanks, Yummy. Um, but I have no idea what to do for sea glass in that and, and and how it can be used with of course the theme for the week, uh, which is typography, fan text, lyrics, poetry, and lists. So I'm just kind of looking up sea glass on the internet and it's very, very pretty. I love the looks of it. Um because it, it's such a really pretty glass. Um, oh, I know. It's really pretty. So, what? Okay, so. I don't even know what. Whatever it is. The what? <laughs> okay, you're. Go back to your part that says what you're supposed to be working on. Yeah. I know about the poetry and that, but what is. Typography? Uh, yeah. Typing, I'm guessing. Actually, why don't we, what's the definition of typography? Typography, uh, the art of arranging letters and text in a way that makes the copy legible, clear, and visually appealing to the reader. Hey, I don't need two hmm. cats here. Come on, come on, come on. Um, so it's more about, you know, spacing the letters uh, equidistant apart, making them very clear. Um, easy to read. So I guess, you know, we could do the word sea glass. Um, it's not really that I need to do it in like any kind of calligraphy form. Ashes, you're going to get hair in my coffee and, and that that's not a good thing. This is um, my other cat. Actually, Sniffles is, is on my desk here where my keyboard is. And then this is Ashes. Oh, stop, Sniffle. You don't have to growl at her. Okay. So then back to the idea about sea glass. Is there any way you could do it like uh, maybe a frosted glass look? Well, that's what I'm wondering. But, um, but apparently, okay. The, okay, just because we have the themes for the week doesn't mean we have to actually stick to them. Okay, so we can, you know, go rogue. That's, so that's not an issue. But this gives you ideas if you need something to work with. So I'm, I'm trying to follow along as well as I can. But, okay, so sea glass. Um, what is so special? Uh, sea glass, it has a more weathered, natural look and feel. Because it's been broken down by time, tumbling, and salt water, the chemical composition of the glass is actually changed through a de okay. natural dehydration yeah. process. Mm -hmm. What? There's yeah. a poem. If you look it up, it's called, it's called the sea glass poem. It says, I want to age like sea glass, smoothed by tide, but not broken. Uh -huh. my heart edges to soften. I want to ride the wave and go with the flow. I want to catch a wave and let it carry me to where I belong. I want to be picked up and held gently by those who delight in my well-earned patina and appreciate the changes I went through to achieve that beauty. I want to enjoy the journey and always remember that if you give me the ocean, something breakable will turn into something beautiful. And it's called the sea glass poem. Okay. Um, that's probably but way again, more than I, I can... <laughs> I, I know is but I'm thinking is it too much for me to fit on my card? But I mean take part of it, you know. Okay, like, yeah, I see it. Reduce it down to like little. I don't know. I was just an idea. Hey, stop growling. And believe it or not, I finally was able to get on kit so I could watch Bamsy this morning. Oh, okay. How's that going? Good, but it just took a, it was a pain because of my iPad. Mm -hmm. I, it just took a bit to get on. 
So who's this person? This is Ashes. Aww. This is my baby. And she she she's a polydactyl. She has the extra thumbs. <laughs> and yeah, she's she's a big sweetie. She's a big suck. And very cuddly. Can you get into the camera? Can you look up? No? You're just gonna keep purring. And you're getting hair all over my coffee. No. No, 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 no. <laughs> I have a cat that I have a cat that actually uh Especially if it's um, French Vanilla Creamer. Yeah. When I finish my coffee for the day, she's got to uh, look the cup out. Yeah. She. Yeah. Ashes and, and she's snipples. Also my bleach cat. If yeah. I use anything with chlorine in it, she has to lick my hands and stuff because she thinks she needs the chlorine. Wow. I've even scrubbed the floor with chlorine stuff because I was trying to get the stains out, and she was going nuts. It's like her. Um, catnip. Uh -huh. Yeah, I grow um, cat grass for these two. Um, I've got a little. I think you're gonna get. I think you're gonna have uh, hairy coffee if you're not careful. <laughs> I've already. I've just picked out the hair that was flowing on top. Supreme. Good morning. Working from home today. Have an early deadline to meet. Lurking, but sea glass. What the heck? I know. What the heck am I gonna do for sea glass? Okay, so. And plus, the theme for the week, okay, so the prompt for the day is sea glass, but the theme for the week is typography, found text, lyrics, poetry, and lists. Now, um, oh, it's collage, so you can have cut images, right? No, 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 collage was week two. We're done with week two. We're on week three, because it's day 15, so we're at the start well, of week three. you could do sea glass, you can make, like, the background look like, um... Look with your watercolors, make it look like really opaque with different colors. Yeah. Like the sea glass gets. Yep. That would be pretty. Yeah, with almost like a milky, with almost like a milky color to it. Um, yeah. And about, ooh, I'm thinking. Okay, so. so did you want me to see if I could find anything else that might help? No, 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 no. Okay. Let's, the, you know, I don't, I don't mind talking through this right now the way we've got it. Um, because I was actually able, I got my first set of real professional paintbrushes yesterday. They finally came in the mail and uh, my, my delivery company lost the first batch that was supposed to come on, on Monday. Um, so I had to reorder Ooh. get, so I finally, for the first time ever, I invested in the silver black velvet watercolor brushes and oh mm -hmm. my God, the amount of water that these bristles hold and the point that you get when you're painting is just incredible. These, these are like game changers. So I got these last, got them yesterday. Um, so in addition to that, I also got a new uh, watercolor uh, paper block um, that I wanted to try because I've seen other watercolor artists work on this um, on Instagram, I want to say. But anyways, I was able to get it through Timu, Temu, um, mm -hmm. for not too expensive. Uh, this one's seven by, basically five by seven. Um, so it's a block. Mm -hmm. And I was able to give it a really good test last night by doing doing a, a galaxy type space painting. Okay. So oh. I was able to really, really load it up with water and see how how it took the water mm. as well as how um, how it blended, how wet it stayed, and how much it warped after it was dry. And I'm actually really liking it. I'm I'm really impressed. It is, um, thank you. And if you take huh? that card that you got right in your hand, uh -huh. and you wanted to redo your uh, moonlight, that would look good for the moonlight. True, either. true. Um, so, like, this is 100% cotton, um, and I'm just, I'm really impressed with the way uh, it held the water. Uh, it soaked it up, and it didn't warp too much in drying. So then I was playing a bit That's with good. getting points in that, you know, with a loose watercolor flower, just trying to see, you know, how I could work with the, the one brush. So just playing around. 
So I did that last night. But what I'm thinking That's pretty. on top of that, um, yeah, I like I like doing galaxies. They're they're fun and they're easy. So I did another background for another piece that I'm thinking of doing with some wildflowers. So that one is ready to go for that. Um, that but, is beautiful. But what I did do, what I did get as well, is because I wanted to play with gouache, I got my first set of gouache paints. So these were really cheap on Timu. I didn't want to spend, you know, seventy, eighty dollars for a these for an expensive set of gouache if I don't like using it. Now odds are I'll find a use for it. But this has this has twenty four colors. It came with a couple of paint brushes too, but they're probably pretty cheesy. But at least I've got this, and this would give us those milkier colors um, for sea glass. So that's a possibility. Or I can just uh, take my watercolor and add some some white, which I do have. Um, but yeah, we've got to get started on this soon. Uh, so anyway, so I've got the gouache to start playing with. So that's that's a that's a beginning. Like my mom would say about her, her her quilting and everything, whatever floats your boat. Yep. <laughs> um. Okay. So I just need to get. So. So that quilt that you've been doing, um, the little square. What's the name of the pattern? What are we talking about? You know, you were showing your that box. You said sometimes you like to do the hand stitching. Oh yeah, my hexes. They're called yeah, hexagons. Oh okay. It almost reminds me of uh, what was the quote my mom made? Oh, the yo-yo quote. Like oh yo -yo yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what yo-yos are. Yeah, no, these are these are hexagons. Okay. So you know they're just. I still, um, my mom made me a bow tie quilt. Uh huh. And yep. I still got that one. Um. Yeah. Uh, so, but these are these are just hexagons. She made me a wall hanging out of some peacock fabric. I sent you. Yeah, those look like a little. They look. Um, they look like the yo-yos almost. Yeah, <laughs> yo. Well, except yo-yos are circular, and you know they they get yeah. pinched in the center. Yeah. No, I I think I've got something with some yo-yos, but yeah, these are just hexagons. Um, so we call these hexes, and I have a little piece of paper. There's a piece of paper in there that I use to to fold the fabric over the edge, and I just do one little stitch in the point. Each point is just a big long running stitch, then you knot it off, and that one's done. And then eventually you start sewing them together. Now, I don't know if I'm going to do it. Uh, the pattern, if you want to look up any patterns for quilt for hexes, uh, Grandmother's mm -hmm. Flower Garden is the, is the main one that most people will see. So then you mm -hmm. make these into flowers, and you can do a solid color around it, and then each of these in the quilt would look like a flower. Um, so I, I don't know how I want to see so this would be a, an example of that. But you could also just do a bunch like this, and there's a, a coaster, like a really nice mug rug. You do some, do the, the batting and the backing, and you've got a nice little mug rug. Yeah, so. That's gonna be pretty. Yeah, so there's all kinds of options when it comes to the hexes and all kinds of ways to put them together. But Grandmother's Flower Garden is the, uh, the pattern you would look up if you wanna look for the, the base. Mm -hmm. Uh, hexagon quilt. Um, and I'm not sure. Um, I have one that my. Okay, what would it be? She was my great. Oh, great great grandma made, and it's. Um, I have it wrapped in acid-free paper and stuff. Okay. Yep. Away. Yep. Because it, my mom found the tops. They were done. The tops were done, but she quilted them. So, um, she gave, I think she had four of them, four or five, and she gave one to my sister and one to me, to me, and now my, my daughters are like, but, 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 who's going to get the quilt? I said, probably one of my granddaughters. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to let them fight over it. 
here's another here's another sea glass um um quote that I or well, quote I guess uh sea glass is the ocean's way of telling us that if you give it something breakable it will turn it into something beautiful. Ooh, perfect. Perfect. Uh, okay, so I um I found this on Pinterest. Okay, um, so I'm going to have to type this out in Notepad or something because uh, I don't have anything here for that. <coughs> um, okay, so, and I'm just wondering how I could get that onto, onto the card. So I can't even quote an author. There's no author on this, so that's not um, not even possible. Okay, so let's do. And I just found that one that you were talking about. Yeah. But there's a that's a. I'm surprised at how many sea glass poems there are. Mhm. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, so what if I take this and make it a little bit bigger? Um, can I, because I'm, I'm thinking, probably not going to do watercolor. Well, I could. But I like the background. Yeah, this one's, yeah, it's just another one of those splotched ones where I had, you know, paint, uh, ink and whatever on my craft pad and I just splotched this into it. Okay, um, trimming off this. Edge. I'm surprised the biker's not in here giving me um, advice. <laughs> he'll probably be in in a bit. I saw he was about, uh, about an hour ago, he just logged off the uh, server. So he may be back shortly. Okay, well, let's, uh, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to need some water. Um, and there's my white that I can mix with the watercolor paint. So, um, I do have a palette sitting here, so we've still got that. The only thing I'm well, is this the first one that's really given you, like, three for a loop? <laughs> um, yeah, maybe. It's not uh, not always easy to figure these figure these out. Um, now what did I want? Because I'm not sure. Do I want to write this on here? I could just write it on. Once it's dry with the the sea glass in the background. Um, okay, well, I need to get a uh, little jug of water, so I will be right back. Okay. Yeah, just a I'm glass gonna go of water. I'm going to go Okay. I'll be back. I'll be... It's kind of hard. It's, it's weird. I can now put her kick over the top of your Twitch, but I can't hear her, so... It's fine. All right. 
Let's see what we can do with this. See if I can still do it. All right, so yeah, late start today, so let's hope we can get through this. Still have to work. Work is a thing. So basically, sea glass is pretty muted. Pretty muted in uh, the tones of color. I need to get some of these out of the way. I've got too many on my desk. Okay, so these ones. That one. This one comes in handy. Okay, so sea glass. So we need some we need some colors. I gotta have my coffee. I'm running out of space here. Water. Okay, so let's do some colors of Sea glass. Do it. Do it. That's a Naruto. Good morning, Naruto. How you doing? <laughs> okay, my sound tester's in. Everything's working. <laughs> yeah, we don't have any creepers here, or two. We're good. Okay, so what if we did... Actually, I might need something a little... What if we did some basic... Okay. Damn cat here. Okay, so we're going to do kind of like a, a bit of a horizon line. Just trying to use up some of the stuff that I've got on my palette. And then we can add in some, you know, sandy area. How you doing, Nero? Too. How's your day?
Make sure you stretch out those <laughs> creamy hamstrings. Thank you. Let's have a drink. Here. I have my coffee. I've been, you know, dipping into it every once in a while. You know, removing the cat hair in the process, but. Thank you. Thank you for the hydrate. Much appreciated. Okay, so I think we've got kind of enough in here. So now we want to do what we want to do is start adding. So oh my god, dry this first. Um, but what we can do is start adding some of the uh, the glass sea glass stones along the beach here. So we got to remember, they're going to be pretty, oh, today's, well, today's prompt is sea glass. Okay, and this is separated because I've just melted the glue. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and we're to today's today's prompt is sea glass. So I'm gonna try and do a little bit of a little bit of a, a beachy scene here and do some little little tiny sea glass stones. Um, I need some white here because sea glass is while it's jewel toned, it's still kind of milky colored. Definitely not clear. So I'll add this over here so I can just grab a little bit as I need it. Probably more than enough. There's not we're not gonna do too many stones. Okay, so got some blue here. I've also got this blue. Might be a little too milky. Oh, we'll experiment. It'd be really pale too. They come in different colors, and they get rounded into some really nice shapes too, but still the edges are pretty, pretty smooth. Definitely need some like pinky. Uh, let's get 
some pinky ones in here. The amount of cat hair I keep finding. Right there. <laughs> Cat hair is a problem. Ugh, that's on my brush. Okay, <clears throat> so we still made, I need to actually go back and look at those pictures. Where is the sea glass images? No, not the poem. Sea glass, oh yes, very pretty, very opaque, very pale. Mostly, if I'm looking at this, mostly yellows and greens and light blues and turquoise and even white but there are some dark blue there are some mixed colors so let's not just stick with the one Hello, Naruto, the <laughs> sound master, or the sound tester. <laughs> yep, sound tester is in the house. Um, I'm always feeding my black cat, my cat. So, my black one, they think he's 11, mm -hmm. but they're not sure, but he went from 14 pounds down to 6. Oh, that's not good. Um, His thyroid is okay. acting right, but they don't want to put him on medication. It's not bad enough. They don't want to put him on medication, but I'm worried about his weight loss, so... Um, he already has to have a feeding at night 
because his urine crystallizes. Uh -huh. He gets pills for that. That's no big deal. But so I've been giving him an extra feeding in the morning. So I've, so I've been feeding the poor kitty. Oh, poor thing. Well, he's been through a lot. They said that he tangled with a motor, car engine. And he has, like, you can see where he has no fur on his back paws. Right. Stomach and part of his ear. Aww. They never thought he could would walk again. They called him Hobble originally. <laughs> he got him from the main cat. What and if I hadn't adopted him, Everybody! they were scheduled, I think it was like two weeks after we did it. Uh -huh. They said, well, we were going to put him down. Aww. wanted him. And he's such a sweetheart. Well, most of them are. Except Thank you for, for the smelly cat, Naruto. Baby girl, uh, my daughter's cat had kittens, and this was one that, the only one that survived, because all the others, for different reasons, mm -hmm. uh, died. And they mauled, the kids mauled the heck out of her. She is very antisocial. She doesn't like anybody but us. Uh -huh. So, you have to go to the bathroom, go through my bedroom to get to the bathroom. And if I don't lock her up, she attacks people if they try to go. <laughs> she, I even have a sign that says, uh... This house is protected by an attack cat. A attack cat, yep. Uh-huh. So. I shouldn't have said anything. Now Naruto is, uh, Testing out the sounds again. Yep, he did the smelly cat. Yep. We'd like to have a dog, but we're told us we couldn't. The girl next door to us, the same like house that's split in half, uh -huh. has one. And they own the building next to us, and they have dogs. But we're not allowed to have dogs. Huh. Okay. I'll keep my cats. <laughs> that looks pretty. I like that. Well, it's a start. These are your new brushes, right? You, you yes. Your new brushes? Yeah. I think they're doing a fantastic job. Well, they're definitely, they have more point in that to them. They hold more water, they hold more paint, which makes them a little easier to work with. But I like the way that the, the, with the finer bristles on them, it looks like you can put more detail in them. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, do we want some more? Green seems to be a popular color for the... Yeah, uh, so I'm going to get off of the voice part. Okay. So you don't hear me eating. Okay. Because I really get noisy when I eat my apple. <laughs> okay. Okay, there you go. Okay, I don't know how many more. Just looking at the time. I don't want to go past nine. I've got to, I do actually have work to do, so. I need to get to doing some work.
Okay, so take some of this white. Good morning, Bamsie. Yeah, sea glass would be cool. To find some would be really nice. I know I've never I've never actually found any either. Wow, these brushes hold a lot of water. Okay, so we've got a bit of a highlight on, on some of these sea glass stones. And Bamsie's doing the wake up. <laughs> Get the fuck out of bed, bitch. Go. I love that. Get up, get up, and then they got cold up. Thank you, Bamsie. Time to wake up. Time to wake up, bitch. Get up. Okay, so I think we've got enough little pieces of sea glass here. <coughs> kind of lost the uh, 
kind of lost my uh, beach area here, but uh, that's okay. You know what? I don't want to screw with it too much. Wow, these hold water. So, short of uh, putting shadowing around each of the stones, you know, I think uh, pretty much done here. Add some more to the water, but we kind of need to get our, our little poem here because this is all about the, the typography, right? Uh, hey, car! Yeah, I'm doing a bit of a late stream. Sorry there was a backfire in there. Haha, <laughs> cute. Alright. Uh, I gotta get this dry. And I gotta get, um, get the coat on here. Not great watercolor paper, and then of course it's attached to a recipe card, so yeah, it's not working. <laughs> Alright, so we have this. Now, the quote we have, sea glass, is the ocean's way of telling us that if you give it something breakable, it will turn it into something beautiful. Now, I don't know that I have... Maybe you need an adjustment, Porsche. <laughs> um, this is going to be tricky on here. Maybe I can just print this out. I don't want it to be too big, though. Um, bold. That needs to be... Okay, what happened if I hit let's see. Um we'll see if this will fit. If not, we'll do something I'll have to print it smaller. <coughs> yeah, that's too big. Um Okay, let's take it down a notch. Yeah, let's do that. Now, while I have it here, we can color it so that we don't end up with, uh, which one do I want? Do 
don't want faded. Is that mermaid? Then if we do this, then it doesn't look like such stark, you know, white paper. Shadow Reaper, good morning, dude. How you doing? We are almost done with our project for today. I had a, oops, late start. That's okay. We can still get her done. So theme for today, our prompt for today is sea glass. So, <laughs> not that this looks anything like sea glass, but <laughs> we've got all these weird looking stones on the beach. Yeah, we're trying. And we'll get this on. And then, since we're doing that as the prompt, it's not like we really need, um, not like we really need to put a, another saying on this, because we're already doing typography sort of things, so we're kind of going to kind of go with these this week instead of grabbing one of those uh, notations from the sheets that I have. There. And then if I had, you know, I'd love to be able to just, you know, get some shadow going underneath some of these rocks, but. That's the other thing I need to get then is one of those, um, the Tombow Gray brush markers because you can do some really nice shadowing with the the gray. I don't have any of those. That's why we can at least see that the you know, the rocks are here on the the sand, the sea glass. I almost want, where's my, there's my jelly roll. Ah, thanks, Supreme. Trying, but, you know, it's, um, not easy to do something like that on, on this, but. And I'll give them a little bit more highlight. So we can see that you know they're they're here. Wow, I'm actually impressed with how this is turning out. I'm like, holy crap! Okay, all right. So we need to get our our little prompt on here on here. Our 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 typography, our poem sort of thing. And then this will be done. Um, I, I actually watched a workshop yesterday. And they said um, there was a phrase that, you know, a lot of artists use as they're, they're doing their project. 
and they get to a point in the project where it's their um, it's an it's ugly phase and you just you have to get past that you know it's ugly phase <laughs> to get to the finished product and I was already at that phase when I was looking at this I'm like yeah it's just it's still kind of not right but now it's kind of working it's kind of working I'm kind of liking it okay now we're gonna do something let me see do I have yeah I've still got some white here and oops sorry pardon the arm and I don't know how much of this I can grab I'm gonna grab some iridescent we're gonna do like the fancy artists do I'm gonna splatter it Um, do I have any left in this? Because that would be a really great splatter color too. Ah, okay, I'm gonna call it done. Okay, there. So, kind of warping. Watercolor paper on a recipe card doesn't always work so well. Okay, so here we are. Here is, oops, let's see if I can get it in focus. Why am I missing this light? Okay. All right. So, I don't know, can you see sea glass? Let's see if it will focus. Sea glass is the ocean's way of telling us that if you give something, give it something breakable, it will turn it into something beautiful. So we have all these little gems on the beach. Thank you. Thank you, Supreme. Coming from you? That's a huge compliment. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm kind of liking the way that turned out. It's an experiment. Plus, I'm experimenting with my new brushes. My new, you know, my my new silver black velvet brushes, which are just amazing, like super artist quality watercolor brushes, and I'm loving them. I did this last night just as an experiment. Um, I make you blush. Good God, woman. You should, everyone, I, I'm sorry. Yummy, I don't know if you can do this. You should have the permissions to do this, but I, I need someone to do shout outs for me when these people come in because I keep forgetting because I get so wrapped up in what I'm doing. And, and so let's get Supreme. Let's get her shout out here. We also have Car in here. Um, oh, thank you, Car. You're going to shout out BMC for me. Yeah, if I could get people to shout people out for me, I would so appreciate it. Um, sure, card does the, the shout out and it works. I do the shout out and it doesn't work. <laughs> Go figure. Anyways, so just, <laughs> Bamsie's doing the air horn. Um, can we shout out? Okay, so there's Bamsie shout out. Thank you so much. But seriously, like yummy, um, if you, oh, card making galore, just amazing cards, so many different techniques it's just it's fascinating to watch supreme work and and do her cards and the speed run ones that she does are are hilarious they're so fun um car uh yummy well when i first started streaming i was so wrapped up i forget people so i added auto shout out for my regulars uh yeah i know 
a couple people have done that and then some of them have had problems with them lately so it's um it hasn't been working so well for some i haven't set it up yet but i'm thinking about it okay so then there's a shout out for car she's been doing um she plays minecraft modded minecraft mostly and she and i play together quite often and and stream together so you know here's wow that really doesn't focus oh better put the lid on this right maybe if we set it up here it's still the the type is pretty small i could probably could have done it a little bit bigger but you know what i'm not fussing with it now and fall guys and human fall flat and uno and minecraft bingo so you know we play all those together we have a lot of uh, a lot of fun doing that and then um yummy we need to get yummy streaming we in general have a blast yeah we always do and then there's also yummy i don't know she we're trying to get her to start streaming she hasn't done it yet um but you know she once she does we're going to start giving her shout outs um can i also get let's see i'll do this one at shadow reaper shadow reaper keeps joining into my streams in the morning and i really really appreciate it he's part of the kdt family and he does some of the the first person shooter games i believe it's usually um call of duty and fortnite and stuff like that and what's this one got oh assassin's creed yeah i've been watching him play the assassin's creed uh game i remember playing that on the ps3 and i've loved it um i haven't played it since then so it's it's been a while so definitely check out uh shadow he's uh he's a sweetheart he really is he's a nice guy and let me see who else do we have in here we always said we've got naruto we need a shout out for naruto car are you able to do that I need to download that's going to help me okay perfect awesome um mara didn't join us this morning but he's usually in here um so i think that covers just about everybody make car of me what <laughs> really how do i do that <laughs> um anyways okay so that's the card for today um we were able to follow both the prompts um well sorry not necessarily the prompts where the hell did my sheets go god i keep putting these aside and then i forget where they are okay so for this week we are on week three the theme for the week is typography found text lyrics poetry and lists and then the prompt for today was sea glass so we did a little watercolor beach scene with some sea glass stones and a little uh poem or phrase or whatever i can't i can't credit anyone it didn't have anyone's name on it but it basically says sea glass is the ocean's way of telling us that if you give it something breakable it will turn it into something beautiful so there we go that is our card our index card for the day we have our wonderful little sea glass stones down at the bottom on a little beachy scene i have to work on doing my landscapes that's another class i want to take so anyways we're good there and i really hate this song i gotta change that okay uh so now we need to find someone to raid who are we going to raid let's close this one let's close this one twitch who's streaming now what's tomorrow what is tomorrow alphabet well that's kind of easy we've got all kinds of alphabet stamps and letters and stuff like that so or we could find something that goes along with the alphabet okay so i think i've got yeah i've got it muted all right, so who is streaming that we can go raid? Oh, Pixie. Pixie streaming. Uh, I haven't raided Pixie. I don't think. Let me just get past this commercial break. She's already been on for almost three hours. 
she's playing Minecraft. I'm just waiting to get through the uh, ads here. Okay. Um, so we're going to say the stream is ending. So we're going to get it to that point. So if you want to follow through, um, here's a cut and paste that you can use for if you're a follower. Here's a cut and paste you can use if you are a sub. We're going to go show some love to Pixie and uh, see what she's up to. It looks like she's playing in a swamp. Um, and then, so thank you everyone for joining me today. Thank you, Yummy, for all your help and suggestions on figuring out what to do for sea glass. And um, yeah, just remember once you get over there, hit F5 to refresh so it counts for viewers for her. And let me get this up here and raid channel pixie yeah feel free to join me any day um okay anytime why am i not seeing us pixie okay so that one Ugh, come on that one okay um yeah feel free to join me anytime in uh discord when i'm streaming right uh yummy that's fine i have no problem with that all right so let's start the raid let's uh go show her some love and i will see you all tomorrow bye